What up guys, it's right on Sports News. Today we're going to be continuing our NFL mock draft. And we're going to be talking about picks 16, 15, 14, and 13. If you haven't seen the previous videos, go check them out. They're pretty cool. Just give you a look in on who your team could be drafted and who you can expect in the first round. We're just going to get right into it here and continue with pick number 16. That would be the Baltimore Ravens. And I'm looking at this team, and I know this is Ozzie Newsom's final year, so I'm thinking, you know what, he's going to want to draft a player that's a defensive stud that is going to go off and really just keep Ozzie Newsom's legacy in Baltimore. And I think that guy is safety Derwin James out of Florida State. And this guy is just a playmaker. And what's great about him, he is a leader in the locker room. His vocals will be heard. And who's who's that guy that used to be there? Safety, vocals used to be heard. The guy is a leader. That was good old Ed Reed. Now, he went. Ed Reed went to the University of Miami, but still a Florida college. Derwin James out of Florida State, I think, is a mirror image of Ed Reed. And I think that's what the Ravens would want here. And this guy is completely committed. His film study... He, it's amazing. It's amazing how many times this guy is in is in there watching film. Love it. I love his commitment to the game. The guy is an extremely physical, physical safety. So you can play him against any wide receiver or tight end you want. The guy's physical. And just he's a game changer. Just I love him. I love Derwin James. I think he's an excellent prospect. Any team would be lucky to have him. Let's move on to pick number 15. That would be the Arizona Cardinals. I'm looking at this team, and I'm like, you know what? Fitz is getting old. Fitz is really getting old. And that offense could use some help. You already have David Johnson, yeah, but mm, I really want another wide receiver because it's only a matter of time before Fitz has to call it quits, even though he's still at the top of his game. So I'm going to pick wide receiver out of SMU. Cortland Sutton. This guy's 6'3", so he's about the same height of Larry Fitz. Just big possession wide receiver. The guy is great in jump ball situations. Got great size, great toughness. I think this guy is ready to succeed Larry Fitzgerald and could, re could really just give the Arizona Cardinals a, a youth burst, if you will. A youth movement, as they call it. I... I really think that the Cardinals, you need to get somebody offensively and just be a game changer. And I think Cortland Sutton, that wide receiver, would be great for them. And, of course, with Sam Bradford, what I think Cortland Sutton needs is an accurate quarterback. And there's no better accurate quarterback in the past few years than Sam Bradford. And he's going to be their quarterback this year and maybe four years to come. We don't know. So I'm looking for Sam Bradford and Cortland Sutton to have a huge year. Now we're going to be looking at pick number 14. That would be the Green Bay Packers. Just cut Jordy. That, that offense is a little shaky. Of course, the running game, I think, is extremely good with Jamal Williams, Aaron Jones. Of course, Aaron Rodgers isn't going nowhere. Wide receivers are a little shaky. Offensive lines are really shaky. But that defense really needs help. You have Ha Ha Clinton Dix at safety, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add, and this guy can play both safety, corner, and he can be a sub-package linebacker if you really wanted him to. I'm going to go with Minka Fitzpatrick out of Alabama. Guy's six foot, but the guy is extremely fast. can play what I love. I really love his versatility here because the corner, he can play sub-package linebacker for blitzes. I absolutely love it. The guy's dedicated. He's got great range. The speed is off the charts. Minka Fitzpatrick could turn the Packers into a contender again and could be really a, a huge game changer on defense. And, and that's exactly what they need because their defense has not been feared in a very long time. And I think that defense is going to have to start helping Aaron Rodgers experience especially that Aaron Rodgers doesn't have Jordy Nelson anymore to throw to and get all those touchdowns. I mean, yeah, Devontae Adams, but 
who else you got? And Aaron Rodgers is getting up there in age, so he's not going to be able to carry the team as he has been able to. I'm a huge Aaron Rodgers fan, but you're going to start seeing a decline. It, father time catches up with everybody, and Aaron Rodgers is just, he, he's not going to be able to escape it. He's no exception. So I'm going to have to go with a defensive player to help out, help stop the opposing offense so Rodgers doesn't have to put up a million points a game. Now the final pick of this video would be number 13. That would be the Washington Redskins. And I'm looking at this defensive line and I'm saying it's great. But let me tell you, what could really put it over the top is another interior lineman. And I'm going to go with De'Ron Payne, another Alabama defensive lineman who, of course, they drafted Jonathan Allen last year, Alabama defensive lineman. So I'm thinking they're going to go two years in a row with De'Ron Payne, defensive tackle. And this guy is probably the premier run stuffer, run stuffer interior lineman in this entire draft. I think he is the best at it. The guy has great strength and athleticism. And even though he is a premier run stuffer, He's got a really good pass rushing ability. I think that's going to really help him. And this guy could be a pro bowler for years to come. I think this guy is going to take the league by storm. I'm really looking for Daron Payne to be a household name. This guy is going to be great. Watch out for Daron Payne. I love him. Love him. That's it. That's, that's all I got for the video. Pay attention for the up and coming picks. I'll be making more mock draft videos every single day I'm trying. So, always remember, right on brother, we'll see ya.